Resilience to nature's challenges is one of the 10 national science challenges. These are the key questions facing New Zealand in its future. Because of its location, because of its geological setting, New Zealand is an incredibly hazardous place. Every time that we are going to be impacted by things, we are going to be surprised by it. Resilience is the capability to respond and the ability to bounce back, the ability for people to come up with new ways of doing things, to recover from these surprises. If our communities are strong and resilient, we can repair the things that break. We can respond quickly to things that we didn't expect to see. What we want to do is bring the knowledge to bear to make resilience decision making an integral part of our whole decision making process. The Resilience to Nature's Challenge is a 10 year project that we've got in front of us and what we have in this particular consortium is a, is a group of around 80 researchers from 15 different organisations. The key thing is that we start from that outcome of, of that dynamic responsive community. We want this resilient, vibrant New Zealand, so we're designing the research that comes down from it. What kind of research do we need in planning? What do we need in engineering? What do we need in education, public participation? How do we encourage those nodes of innovation, bringing together those governance people with the hazards people, bringing the engineers together with the behavioural scientists, joining up those conversations? Over this 10 years, not only are we going to make new discoveries, we're going to be thinking about things in a different joined up way. We're going to have a research landscape that involves the end users of that science integrated all the way through the process, defining the problems, implementing the solutions, a feedback loop will bring about a whole range of new collaborations. In 10 years time, we'll be living in a completely different science practice landscape.